morning and welcome to the giveaway prize draw winner video. I'm out with Maggie this morning on a stunning bit of beach that we come to now and again um, and I really really like it I mean it's a beautiful bit of beach anyway it's a nice sandy bit of beach uh, but what I really like about it uh, is it's really quiet you have to you have to put in a little bit of effort to get here it takes about 20-25 minutes to walk to you have to go through a nature reserve um, and when you pop out the other side you're on this lovely bit of beach uh, which is slowly being eroded away causing trees to sort of tumble onto the beach and you've got all these massive trees just lying on the beach so you've got a little bit of shelter from the wind and it just adds some some beauty and some interest i love it and uh and because it's a bit of a walk you don't get very many people here i don't think people can be asked to walk miles from their car and the comfort of the ice cream van uh so you know as a result you you, you get very few people up here which is brilliant I love it. The nature reserve is just behind me and uh, it's absolutely stunning. At high tide the, um, the sea breaches through a gap in the beach and, uh, and it feeds a, a saltwater marsh and there's a couple of hides around the place um, that, you can, that you can use uh, and go in and, and film uh, some of the wildlife. It's absolutely stunning. Firstly, I'd just like to thank everybody for taking part. I had uh, over 120 entries, which was brilliant. Um, so uh, what I did is I uh, entered them all into the computer, made a list, uh, printed that list out, cut them up into strips, and uh, put them all in a bag. And um, I've got that bag with me today. And here they all are. 120 over 120 uh, pieces of paper with names on. Everybody who entered has their name on a strip and I'm going to put that in this bag and simply mix them all up and I'm going to pull out the winner. Um, just before I do that though, um, I decided to extend the competition slightly. Um, so you'll already know about, uh, about this prize which is the uh, the water bottle, Crusader cup, uh, stainless steel spork, uh, the lid, all in this little pouch. You'll know about that already because I showed you that on the last video. Um, but I decided to uh, have a couple of runner-up prizes, just because there were so many entries and it seemed like the right thing to do. So um, I made a couple of other pouches, uh, just a little sort of ditty pouch, possibles pouch, you know, whatever you want. Um, just zipped pouches like this with a little carabiner clip on. So there's one in this style here, so that'll go to the, the second name I put out will receive this one, and the third name that uh, I pull out will receive this one. It's more like a kind of like pencil case style uh, of pouch, but again, just for possibles or bits and pieces you want to keep together, you can keep, you can keep your Tinder kit in there, it is waxed, so it'll keep the moisture off mostly. Um, so yeah, and that's also got a little carabiner clip on as well. So we've got two runners up prizes as well, so I'm gonna pick three names out of the hats. The first name will get this, the second name will get this one, and the third name will get this one here. Right. First name. 
in the past I've used a, an app on my phone to do this, but um, unfortunately uh, it only lets you put in so many entries and I was well over it. I think it was only about 50 entries you could put in. So, uh, right, first name out of the hands. Live Simply Films, Mountain Mike. Well done, Mike. You've got the water bottle, cup and pouch. I'll get that sent out to you. All you need to do is um, uh, just drop me a message um, either on uh, either on YouTube, a, a private message on YouTube, or you can go to my Facebook uh, page, which is also the same name, Simon of Local Points. Uh, give me your address and I'll get that sent out to you. Well done, Mike. I'm going to put that in the pouch. Second draw. Oh, got two out of the back. Quite difficult to just grab one. Second one. Robert Rouse. Robert Rouse, you've got this pouch here. Again, drop me a message. Uh, let me know your address um, and I'll get that sent out to you. Thirdly, David Dunmo. Congratulations, you're the third winner. So you'll have this one here sent out to you. Again, just uh, send me a message to give me your address and I'll get that posted off to you. interesting reading everybody's comments uh, as to what skills people would like to learn more about uh, to do with uh, witchcraft or, or the outdoors generally. Um, there was a real trend, uh, I would say about uh, three quarters of uh, comments were to do with plant and tree identification. Um, a lot to do with uh, wild, wild edible plants, um, but some to do with identifying trees and, uh, and, and uses. Now, um, I'm no expert in plant or tree identification, but I'm, I'm quite passionate about it. I have a real interest, in, especially in edible plants, and you may have seen one or two of my videos that I've put out. Uh, they're really just uh, videos kind of tracking my learning, really. Um, I, like to, I like to research plants, find out about a plant that's, that's edible, uh, and then go out and find it. So I use a, a range of good uh, reference guides um, field, field guides, reference books, um, and I have, I have quite a few. Uh, but there's one that I take with me uh, often because it's very small. And I'm sure most of you will have come across this. It's, um, it's this book here. It's, uh, it's Richard Baby's Wild Food, uh, Food for Free book. And uh, it's, it's tiny, you know, fit that in your, in your pocket. Uh, and it's got, uh, it's got a good range of, um, of UK plants in there, edible plants. There's a section at the back on coastal foraging. Um, so there's uh, various seaweeds and, uh, and also uh, shellfish. There's a good section on uh, fungi. Uh, and, uh, and then the rest of it is, uh, is just um, various edible plants. And there's good diagrams, there's photographs and, um, and illustrations, uh, which I think is always useful. I think, I think possibly the illustrations are even better than the photographs in terms of being able to identify plants. Um, so yeah, I, I really rate this book. I think, it's, I think it's a good little book. I wouldn't rely on it because it doesn't cover everything, uh, but it's a nice one to take out with you. If you come across a plant and you don't know what it is, you know, you can at least have a look in here. But this is exclusively for edible plants, so this obviously won't cover, won't cover trees and things like that. It's just for plants that are edible. But yeah, well recommend uh, this little book. Go out and grab, you, grab yourself one. And they only cost a fiver, you know. It's good value, especially when the food is free. stunning morning uh, on this stunning bit of Suffolk coastline. Um, congratulations to the three winners. Don't forget to uh, get in touch, uh, get me your addresses so I can get those things uh, posted out as soon as possible. And to the rest of you, thanks for entering. Uh, 
uh, I really appreciate the support. Take care and I'll see you soon.